hi guys in this lecture i am going to teach you how to give the id to the elements what is the id and the second thing is the float how to float the elements in html uh, by using the css so first of all here i am gonna create the two divs here is the first div and here is this here I'm gonna paste a paragraph from the previous uh, lecture copy this and paste it in between this div and then I am gonna copy this div and create another div here is the div so now here I'm gonna use the ID so what is the ID like uh, the ID is the ID is just like the class uh, Here the class is used to give the different styles to the elements or the same styles to the elements So the ID is also used for the same purpose So now here how to write the ID here in the starting tag We can give ID to any HTML element here equal and then double quotes and here and then we are able to write any name here I'm gonna write the first and now I am gonna give the ID to the second div here is the second and then we are able to use these IDs how to use the ID first of all we uh, first of all these IDs are now the identity of the divs first id first id identified the first div second id identify the second div so first of all i'm gonna give the different styles by using the both ids to these divs so first of all in the class we write the dot in the id we need to write the hash write the first then sem then the parentheses and then here in between these parentheses we need to write the properties here I'm gonna write the color red first div have the color red and the second div here write the hash and then parentheses and here is the color and yellow so now let's execute it here you can see that this is the first div this is the second div so the id has just the same purpose uh, we can give the same style by using the id you can also give it the first so the same style will apply on the div id just used for giving the id to any html element to give it styles to give it different style same style and now uh, I want to show you uh, another thing that is float element so what is the float element let discuss it here I'm gonna create the border of both of these divs border one pixel solid black and I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and now let's execute it so both divs are here and I'm gonna change the color of the text to blue here we need to change the ID to the second and now execute it so here this is the second div and this is the first div so now I'm gonna give it width and height to both only width height is automatically adjusted width is 200 pixel or increase it 600 pixel so now here are this is the first div this is the second div so now this div is a line or it is float or move to the left 
both divs are moved to the left this is called the floating we are able to change the value of the float here i'm going to give the value to the float is right so the div is moved to the right corner first div is moved to the right corner here you can see that this is the first div it is moved to the right corner and you can also give it the left so the first div move to to the left corner and you can also give the float left to both of these divs here I'm going to give it left so now let's execute it so here this is the first div this is the second div both divs are float to the left the white space is covered by the div and so now here I want to show you another thing when we give the float uh, to the only one element so the second here the so the second element automatically flow to the left and covers the uh, space of the first element here I'm gonna show this effect by giving the background color to this element second element which have not the float property here I'm gonna give it the red color and I'm gonna give it the float first here is the left so here you see that both elements have the float property so it have the red background color it is on this side but if I remove the float from the this div so what happens here you see that this div uh, expand on all the area of the first div so what we need to do we need to write the clear both property so what is the clear both property the clear both property is used when the floated elements are mixed up so the clear both property so here I'm gonna give it value both so when we give it the value both so it cannot allow any div element or any floated element on its left or right side here check it here apply on this div so now here it's working we have to apply the clear property on that div on that HTML element which have not the float property so now what is happening when we give the clear property so it cannot allow any floated element on its left or right side so it is adjusted on its place and we can also give it the value left so the second div cannot allow any floated element on its left side and we can also give it value right so it cannot allow any floated elements on its right side so i hope you enjoy this lecture if you have any problems kindly add the discussion on udemy i will help you as much as i can in my next lecture i am going to discuss the positioning how to position an html element in the html web page see you in the next lecture